In this video, I'm going to discuss is it okay to take a break from YouTube? Contradicting all the advice that YouTubers get about posting regularly and consistently. Hmm. Hello, I'm Paul Douglas. If you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, then please consider subscribing by clicking that button down there and the notification bell to get notified of new videos. Now, this video is not exclusively about music, but it certainly fits in with the content of this channel in that it is fundamentally about what I do on this channel, um, i.e making videos and posting them to YouTube. Now what prompted me to make this video was um, I've had a few months off making YouTube videos uh, and I thought I can't be the only one who's done this and I thought the discussion of the reasons why could be interesting and hopefully help some people who might watch this and go oh yes me too and make them feel that it is okay you're not breaking some cardinal rule. So then is it okay to take a break from YouTube? Now, I, sh I should point out here, I'm not talking about huge YouTubers who've got millions upon millions of subscribers where YouTube may be their full time or at least a substantial part of their income. I'm talking about small YouTubers like me who've got a few thousand subscribers or maybe even a few hundred. The generally accepted YouTube advice is that you should post regularly, frequently and consistently if you want to grow uh, your YouTube channel and your audience. And that is great advice. There's nothing wrong with that. Very sound, which, and I have tried to follow that advice in the past. However, if you're like me, you have a lot of other stuff going on. Um, I have a day job. I have a family. You know, I'm married. I have a wife. I have two children. I play in two bands. I like to keep myself fit. You know, I, I train in kickboxing two to three times a week and, and I do other stuff as well uh, for fitness. So it's pretty busy. Now, I am certainly not complaining about that situation. I would not have it any other way, but I have to have priorities. And sometimes making YouTube videos does just not come high enough up that priority list. And that's okay. Now, the advice is to post regularly, frequently and consistently to build your YouTube audience. And that advice is great, but not if it's to the detriment of other more important things in your life at that time. Now, I want to talk about uh, sort of general well-being and, and perhaps even mental health. Um, sometime towards the end of last year, I got a little bit too obsessed with uh, subscriber numbers, watch time, etc. To the extent that other areas of my life did suffer and it actually affected me in terms of you know how I was sleeping, uh, anxiety levels, how I was interacting with other people and, and made me less effective in other areas of my life. Now fortunately this didn't last very long, maybe a week, maybe two, um, and I did eventually notice that this was happening and I thought okay I need to back off from YouTube a bit. Um, and that's exactly what I did. Uh, and after a while, I started to feel much better. But it does illustrate that, that running a YouTube channel and, and watching all those stats can become addictive in a negative way. And, and it's easy to get carried away. In life generally, you have to look after yourself. I don't think anyone's going to disagree with that statement. Um, and if something's affecting you negatively, then take steps to change it. Um, it may take someone else to point it out. I was fortunate in that I, I noticed it myself and was able to, to grab hold of it. Um, and now I can watch my subscriber numbers, uh, watch time, etc., without being obsessed. Uh, and I'm in a much better place for that. Um, you know, I, I couldn't actually tell you how many subscribers I've got at the moment. I know it's more than 2,000 because I passed that milestone. But other than that, I don't really know. If YouTube is stressing you out, then don't be afraid to take a break. For me, YouTube is a tool. I don't want to be a YouTuber just for the sake of being a YouTuber. Um, I want to be a musician. That's what this channel is all about. And I and use YouTube as a tool um, to get my music and my, my thoughts about music and my tutorials about music out there into the world. 
Um, and as such, I am free to use it as and when I see fit, and indeed to not use it. And uh, I, I guess my final point uh, uh, to make is, if you take a break and you come back later, your channel will still be there. Your subscriber count will still probably uh, be going up, albeit probably slower than if you were posting regularly. Um, and you may still be earning a small amount from adverts on your videos. Um, and when I came back, exactly that had happened. You know, my subscribers had gone up and I had earned a, a small amount of money from AdSense during the month that I've been away. Now, if YouTube makes up a substantial part of your income, um, then obviously you're going to have to take that into consideration. Um, you have to weigh up if you can absorb uh, that potential loss of income financially during your absence. Um, now that's that's not something that affected me at all because I make such a small such a small amount from the adverts that you know it, it's just not even an issue for me. Okay, well I, I hope you've enjoyed that rather rambling discussion. Um, it was just something on my mind that I, I wanted to to uh, to make a video about. To summarise, yes. It is okay to take a break from YouTube. The advice that you get from many fantastic YouTubers, from, from videos, from books, from articles, um, that advice to post regularly, frequently and consistently, if you want to build uh, an audience, is great advice. But sometimes other considerations are just more important. Now this is an unusual video for me in that I'm not just talking uh, about music or I'm, I'm not playing any music. Um, the topic is not directly related to music. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed it and that it's given you some food for thought. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed, then please click that subscribe button just down there and the notification bell to get notified of new videos. And don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Keep making music and I'll see you again in the next video. Cheers.